What's going on today, guys? This is Licks to Stay Limber, episode two. Um, today we're walking you through another uh, minor key lick. This is on three strings. This one's gonna be on the um, A, D, and G strings, so right in the middle there. Just those three strings, nothing else. And this is more of an exercise to help you um, practice changing strings, essentially, and alternate picking while you're doing that. It's pretty melodic sounding, and I hope you enjoy it too. But, you know, give this a try. If you're a newer guitar player, I'll say it again, go slow. There is no reason why you need to play this fast. That's not the point. That's something you want to do way down the road. It's all about changing strings. It's about keeping the two hands in sync as you're doing that. It's about continuously alternate picking the notes. That never stops. Down, up, down, up the entire for the entire lick. So, you know, run through it and see what you think. Just do a couple notes at a time and repeat that for a while until you're going to get the muscle memory, you know, and you get the motion kind of memorized in your head. And just, uh, yeah, that's all I can tell you. Take it slow, work at it, go over and over on this until you get it tight. And it's not really that difficult. And if you're an advanced guitar player, you're probably laughing at me when you watch this because you're like, that's for kids. So, you know, it's all uh, subjective. But I hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to be running through the uh, exercise with this Charvel. Show it to you real close. It's another DK24. This one's a hardtail. Uh, it does have the hip shot bridge in there. It sounds great. Feels great. And I have um, Seymour Duncan's. These are the Nazgul Sentient uh, Combo. They sound amazing. And we're going to be running through uh, STL Tones. Today I am using a preset from Josh Middleton's pack in STL Tone, Tone Hub. I, I tweaked it a little bit. I EQ'd it a little bit. But for the most part, it's pretty raw. And uh, just added some uh, delay on it. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the uh, lick now. All right, now we're going to slow it down and uh, lower the gain so we can hear what we're playing. And uh, this time around, I'm actually going to explain what notes I'm playing. So the entire lick is comprised of two halves. Uh, the first half starts each sequence with that G sharp with your pinky. And then the second half of the lick um, starts with, uh, what is that, E. So you basically four, four mini sequences starting with and then four mini sequences starting with those are your root notes. That's the entire thing. So the first half of the lick is going to be uh, one note per string, then two notes per string, then three notes per string. So it's like this. One, two, three, and then back down. So it's one, two, three, two, one, um, like this. <clears throat> and another thing to remember is that the entire phrase, each mini sequence is eight notes. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then repeat from the root note. Okay. So that's, that's the first step of this. Um, like I said, the first half goes through the, se the mini sequences four times. So the first one, you're going to go on the G string. Got to love G strings. On the G string, it goes. The second time through, it goes. Third time is. And then the fourth time has is completely different. It's, the, it's right here. It's this. And that note sets us up for uh, the second half of the lick, which is starts on the E root note. So again, that last, that fourth mini sequence is two no as one note, two notes, two notes, two notes. That's your eighth note. So it's so 
So that's it for the first half of the seat of the lick, uh, which I'll play again slow right now. First half is out of the way. Now we're going to start the second half of the lick with the uh, E root note. <clears throat> now the pattern's a little different this time. On the A string, it's going to be two notes. On the D string, it's one note. And on the G string, it's still three notes. So this time it's two, one, three, one, two. Kind of like hopscotch, okay? <laughs> so real slow, go through it. That's the first of the four mini sequences. The second time around, it does the same thing that the other one did. It go, it, it alternates. <clears throat> so that G string isn't really changing much until we get to the fourth cycle, which is completely different and gets us set up to start the entire lick over again. The fourth time around on the mini sequence is this. And right after that note, we go back to the beginning. So let me play the entire thing through for you really slow. Uh, you know, kind of explain what the, what the fingering position is. And, you know, break each part down and just kind of repeat it over and over. The smaller the portion, you know, little chunks um, that you can kind of get the muscle memory and get the, the fingering and kind of sync it all up together. Another, the, the main point of this exercise really is to alternate pick while you're changing strings. So the entire lick is always going to be picked down, up, down, up, down, up, keep going. In the second half, same thing. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. All right, now I'll play through the entire thing. Nice and slow, just follow along, just watch what I'm doing here. That is it. That is it, my friends. Originally, I had written this lick with the intention of giving myself a practice exercise for cross picking. However, this turned out to not be cross picking. <laughs> um, cross picking essentially is, generally speaking, it's like one note per string stuff, and it usually has an odd um, number of notes in the sequence, so that the next time when you repeat the same phrase, you're starting in the opposite picking direction. Uh, it's pretty complicated. I'm not good at it at all, which is why I wanted to give myself some kind of an exercise for that. Failed miserably, but I stumbled on this, which is kind of cool. And it's melodic. That again is the point. Um, limber up your hand, get yourself warmed up, get the hands synced up together, but play something melodic as opposed to your usual. That kind of stuff. And by the way, this guitar is tuned to dad gad tuning, so that's why it sounds a little odd. But yeah, try this out. Let me know what you think on this, guys. Um, again, I wanted to challenge you if you're kind of a newer guitar player or a beginner, take it real slow and just take a couple of notes and just take that little small chunk of notes and repeat it. Just play it over and over for a few minutes and play it nice and slow to get your hand, both hands, you know, consistently hitting and syncing up together. So if you wanna just do the first eight notes, just do it over and over again, just. You know? 
And especially if you're somebody who doesn't use your pinky very much, you want to strengthen that guy up because, you know, that's what the that's what the pros do, man. They've got strong fingers so that they can hit any note with any finger and still make it work and have a nice, clear, articulate note. Fortunately, with this particular pattern, we're starting with the pinky. That's the very first note. But then you got a, a second or two to kind of relax it while you do something else before you land back on it again. So you're kind of giving it a break, but you're still using it, you know, starting to slowly incorporate the pinky into your phrasing um, and your melodies. So it's pretty cool. And again, once you memorize the pattern for the entire um, exercise, then you can begin to slowly build up speed on it. But there comes a point where it just it's second nature. Your, your fingers just know where to go, and your hand, your picking hand, knows what string to be on at the same time. You're no longer counting uh, the notes. You're no longer looking at your hands to see if you're on the right string. It just kind of knows after a while. And that's another point of this exercise too: is you're changing strings, playing something melodic and musical, moving around the fretboard a little bit, you know, breaking out of that cycle of playing the same old stuff over and over again. It's just something new. Give it a give it a whirl. Give it a try. And uh, the second half is is nice too. Play that over and over. And then fill it out with the whole thing. That's it. All right, guys, so that wraps it up for episode two of Licks to Stay Limber. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, drop me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe they're too easy. Maybe they're too simple. I don't know. Maybe they're boring. Um, would like to hear your feedback, so, you know, drop me a line. Also, if you have any questions regarding my equipment, my gear, guitar, the amps I'm playing through, any of that, throw a comment down below. I'll definitely get back to you. So, yeah, this one's in the bag. Enjoy it. Work on it. Let me know. You know, give it a shot. You never know. You might learn something, or maybe not. In either case, stay safe, guys. Stay healthy. Get out there. Enjoy the uh, great outdoors and some fresh air. It's a beautiful day here, that's for sure. Talk to you soon. See ya!